I don't personally think that I'm governed by the circle of the deep or the Mazarov mm. moving around the heavens, and I've got to wait for 2,000 years for a change to take place. Right. I embrace that change now. I can bring that about in my life now or in a quick right. period of time. Therefore, I would legislate for the revolving of the circle of the deep with the chancellor's houses. So I'm talking about the wheel within the wheel within the wheel. So we, if we're only governed by the external wheel, what's moving the external wheel? And if it's relative, then it isn't relative to time as we know it, that it's fixed for 2000 years. Because the inner wheel of the 12 chancellor's houses has a way of facilitating things to change externally because things are changing internally or within the inner wheel. It's complex and uh, it, people see it from different perspectives. Are they right or wrong? Probably both right and wrong in different ways that they see mm -hmm. something. And they're just describing what they see from the perspective that they see it. It's like, you know, in a dark room with an elephant, some person says, oh, this elephant's like a hose pipe. Someone says this elephant is like a tree trunk. Some people will say different things. This elephant is like a rope. Well, they're touching the tail or the trunk or the leg. You know, it's still the same elephant, but they're all seeing it from a different perspective. So they think that their perspective is the only perspective because they're focusing on it. And I understand that. And of course you do when you are, you know, that's your revelation and you bring it. But I think that revelation has to fit in with many other people's revelation to bring about a probably a more whole view of it. Mm. As I would see it, you know, so I, I, you know, have been involved in the circle of the deep and all that stuff for quite a long time. And I have perspectives of seeing it the way I see it. And I resonate with how other people may have their perspective. So I know this was connected some way, but I don't see it the way they see it. Mm -hmm. you know? Doesn't make them wrong, but it also doesn't make them 100% right either, as I'm guaranteed not to be 100% right. Yeah, Because there are different perspectives that need to come together to give a whole mm -hmm. perspective, which is only God who sees the full big mm -hmm. picture of it. You know, but what I don't want to do is is I don't want to use my position of authority to try and control what ha happens to other people. Right. I want to bless them. I want to give them opportunities of, of embracing their destiny and their but I can't control what they do or how they do it by legislating for them to do it. Now I can decree and declare and call forth the desire of God for their lives and call them into blessing and all that sort of stuff. And hope that they will respond positively to God's purposes in their lives and follow their own journey and pathway to for their fulfillment. But I can't make someone do something or not do something mm -hmm. by me being seated above them in heaven. Because I think that's control. God doesn't do that with me mm -hmm. or you or anybody else. He doesn't force us. No. Total he freedom. <laughs> us. Yeah. You know, he's wooing us and encouraging us and nurturing <laughs> us to follow and walk the journey out, but he's not forcing us to do it. Therefore, I don't want to see governing as controlling people. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.